Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to play Isengard Mirror Match on the beautiful map West Mnet against the Heart Army, and they are not allowed to recruit anything else than the Berserkers from the Uruk Pit level 2. And the reason why against Isengard and not Mordor is simple, because against Mordor, once it's a Nazgul, a Troll, or a Muma kill on the field, how can we deal with that, you know? And against like Rohan and Gondor, they have walls, we cannot break through that. So yeah, long story short, I believe the only possible matchup for us to pull this off is to fight against Isengard. Even though he might also get some Warcriders Riders on the field and trample our <laughs> Berserkers down all the time, which would be not the best thing in the world, but hopefully we will be able to finish the game way before that. So basically at the beginning of the game we are gonna use our Urukai from the beginning to capture those mills and then we're not gonna fight with them, we're gonna just run it down. I don't wanna feed our opponent though, I wanna just run into the troll layer. I think that's the best thing that we can do. And then we will up, uh, we will fill up our base with more and more furnaces and you know save the last spot for the Uruk Pit. We might even need like two Uruk Pits at once, you know, just to be able to recruit these units a little bit faster. So let's use one of the workers to capture this mill right in front of our base. The Uruks are dead, but that's fine. And the reason why we are we, we need those lamb mills early on is the wood bonus. That's going to make our structures a bit cheaper when we have three of them. 20% discount, pretty juicy, pretty nice. So again, this is gonna be the spot, or this is gonna be the spot we will be saving for the Uruk Pit. I don't wanna build the Uruk Pit in the front side because in the front side it's kinda dangerous. Uruk Pit is the most valuable structure inside the Isengard castle. And losing it always hurts. Because you need to have it level two or level three. And you want to be able to recruit some pikemen, for example, or, you know, have like generally a faster build speed. So you can get your units on the field a bit faster. So speed is the key to victory, guys. Long story short. And again, Isengard has only two heroes, but unfortunately for us, we won't be able to see any of these two. Even though uh, loot is something like a berserker and would be juicy if we would be able to get him on the field just because of the damage leadership. But what would also be funny, to be honest with you, is if we would just like uh, spam lots of explosive mines, you know what I'm saying, all around the map. And then just like what I once did many, many years ago, uh, but I was not recording it. I want I was like building five or six, uh, five or six siege works, you know, and then spamming mines from my base to his, to his base, like a straight line, you know, with explosive mines. And then I was kind of killing the mine in the middle with a fireball from Saruman. And then we were getting defeated at the same time. That was so funny, you know? So chain reaction. Alright, so Uruk Pit. Let's build some towers just to feel a bit more safe. Again, our buildings are still only level 1. We need them to be level 3. And then we don't need to be worried anytime soon anymore. So let's talk about the pros and cons of the Berserker units, you know? The pros is, of course, they are fast. They have an incredible fast production speed. So once we click on them, they will be recruited in no time. However, their weakness is they are squishy. They are glass cannon units, they are about dealing damage, but when you focus them down, especially against trample damage from Warcriders, Riders, for example, they will die quite quickly. When it comes to rush the Isengard base and they have like all only level 3 structures, they will also die to the arrows quite fast. So of course, not like the best units in the universe, but still better than orcs to be honest. And they also cost us only 4 command points, and we have 400 command points available, right? It means we can get 100 of them, which is kind of crazy. And once we get them on the field, we're gonna use also the torches to, you know, make them look like in the film, you know, when they were actually exploding the explosive mine in the Helm's Deep, in the Lord of the Rings, in the two towers. So the troll creep has been secured by our opponent, but it's fine. Don't get the money. Oh, he's generous. So now, we gotta get some crossbow men after two of them. So basically, you need two crossbow men into one Urukai that's going to get our Uruk pit to level two. However, I believe we will need a second Uruk Pit ASAP. Because look how many units he has already on the field. So we need units. ASAP, boys. We are running it down, you know, so far. But it's good because our opponent was kind of busy to creep the troll layers in the middle of the map. So there is a troll layer and there is a troll layer. But both of them are gone. Now he has crossbow men on the field. Uh, which is not the best case scenario for us. Because they will kill our berserkers in no time. We also need Warchan from the spear box. So Warchan industry and um, also devastation is very needed in order to get the money we need to be able to spam lots of these units. But of course, we are not allowed to use the um, to use the Balrog summon. That's not 
allowed. So towers, hopefully, they should be protecting us until we get some more of these units on the field. And I'm also using the HD edition. So in my case, they are looking a little bit different. That's how they are looking like. Berserkers up here. So the tower is going down. It's fine, it's fine though. We can just replace that. Yes, now Uruk's coming there. Of course, we will tank here and crossbowmen when it comes to destroy the structures, but it's fine. We just need to be patient until we get more of these units on the field. And with the second Uruk pit, once it's level 2, we will be also able to get faster the army we are looking for. Okay, we have now Industry Unlocked. That's dope. Industry, besides giving you, of course, the money boost, which is the main premise of this spell from your spellbook, it's also speeding up the leveling progress of your structures. With the industry buff, you will be able to hit level 2 or level 3 a bit faster. Which is crucial, especially when it comes to get them to level 3 for a, for a self-defense, you know? This way they will have, have much more HP. They will have 6,500 HP with level 3. And also they will act like a tower. It's a huge army of Uruks though. Urukai crossbow man. Okay, I'm actually curious if we can pull this off. We need more of them though. We need more of them. Now we can get even more of them. All right, boys. So are you ready? And once we have like 30 of them, I want to use the torches too. You know, the torches. Used to detonate explosive mines. Even though we have no explosive mines, but it's like a party feeling. You know, when you see them with the torches in their hands running wild. Like the suicide squad, you know. That's what I would like to call them. Okay, so we have only two settlements outside, but it's fine. As long as we get the money to always keep buying a couple of these, it's fine. You see the speed? You know, the build speed is crazy. Now we have Uruk Pit level 3 as well, which means 50% faster build speed. Like, long story short, we will get them on the field in no time. So, as long as he's giving me time, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be an epic clash, boys. Look at how many Urukai crossbowmen he has on the field. However, he has no Warg Pit. He has no uh, Siege Warg, so we might pull it off, you know? We might pull it off. Alright, more, 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 more. <laughs> oh my goodness, let's go. I would even love to get the Uruk Pit level uh, number 3, but you look at our money, you know, we won't be able to afford that. So, I don't like to build stuff when I know I cannot afford that. Maybe we can build that later on from our outpost eventually. When we, have a, uh, when we have like level 3 furnaces, we will also get a bit faster and more money, of course. Then it's gonna be easier. I would love to build like 10 Uruk Pits, but these are no orcs. They are not for free. They cost 200 each, and because they are so fast recruited, you need to invest 200 every single second almost, you know? Look at them, boys. Oh my goodness. He's giving us time. That's dope. Oh my goodness. Let's go. Watch it. Have you ever seen this many berserkers on the field at the same time? I was never recruiting this many. And Berserkers are great units when you fight against, as Isinger against Mordor because they are good against those massively spammed units like Orc Warriors from Mordor, for example. They are having splash damage, which means they are able to hit multiple units at the very same time. Which again makes them great against spam factions like Mordor, for example. They have also like a great structural damage. And they have also like a, a dodge chance for arrows. Like when they are being shot from like towers or archers, they, there is a chance that they can dodge the incoming damage, you know, which makes them kind of very unique. We need more. They are coming though. They are coming. He's creeping now. That's fine. Now we gotta make a move. Let's use industry now on the other side. There we go. You see, they are now higher level than this one, but that's about to be changed. Okay. What is the shortcut? E. I never learned about the shotgun because I was never abusing them this hard. Like one push to rule them all. As Saruman would like to say, a new power is the rising and the victory is at hand. Defend the camp. Oh my, okay, never mind. We gotta make a move now, guys. We gotta make a move. Alright. All right, it's it's time to it's time to move on. Let's use war chant. All right, let's go, boys. Let's go. You wanna fight? You wanna play rough? Say hello to my berserker army. I'm telling you. <laughs> Look at how many we have on the field, my friend. This is nuts. This is crazy. I would love to have like some explosive mines now. Imagine that. You know what I'm saying? The boom booms. Hey, hey, defend this area. We can split them even a little bit, maybe. 
Let's destroy this. The destruction power of this army is kind of nuts. Let me tell you that much. The enemy, I mean, I don't know if they are lo if they are losing, winning, but I, I'm, you know, it doesn't matter. We have so many of them. They can, of course, afford to lose a couple of these. No problemo. You guys can creep maybe in the meantime at the bottom right side. I would love to get even like the third and the number four, number five Uruk pit on the field just to spam them a little bit faster. Wanna fight? Say no more. I got you. All right, let's replace the towers and then we can make a move now. We can make a move now. Destroy these things in the middle. All right, you wanna fight? Let's fight. We have some... Say, I mean, of course, we are gonna lose a couple of these, but it's okay. So now we can sp spam a little bit more of them. In the meantime, always keep making more and more units. Let's capture this outpost and pressure this outpost at the very same time. Now we also need to get this outpost under our control. We need some more resource buildings, like more furnaces, for example, you know? Just to make sure that we have enough and great amount of resource income. We are winning those fights so far. That's dope. So let's buy this outpost right after. And yeah, what we gotta do now is we, you know, in this outpost we will be building one Uruk pit only. And then like two furnaces. Here we will be only building furnaces. And then here we will be building like eventually three Uruk pits at the same time, you know? That's the plan. That's the goal. Let's now build uh, the slaughterhouse. Do not lose any of our command points for the lumber mill workers. Let's build uh, now more furnaces. Yeah, here's work pits, but it's, you know, too late. Like, it's not too late, but here's like one work cannot do anything about the situation. We gotta kill the work pits before he will be able to recruit more of them. You see this structural damage, boys? I mean, that's the definition of hitting like a truck. Like, more furnaces are required now. We have also enough power points for the devastation. Just to get the money we need a little bit faster. Again, only furnaces here. We can fight this, no big deal. Let's get this. Move on. Let's try to steal some damage to him, shall we? All right. Okay, we need to we need to defend this. We need to defend this. Now our structures are almost level three as well. Okay, so basically by this outpost. Oh my goodness, he has ballistas. Okay, that's bad. That's really bad. Ballistas are pain. They are pain. We gotta destroy this. The siege works. It's very, very annoying, you know? We gotta destroy that. Like Uruk pits only. Can we can we save this Uruk pit? Would be awesome. We killed one of the siege works. Let's kill the second one. He has fuel the fires now on his Lammer Mills, but that's fine. We were able to save it. That's dope. Nice. So let's set a rally point to his base from all the Uruk pits. Because we need two crossbowmen and one Urukai to get them to level 2, you know? So we need to first of all get them to level 2 before we can make anything else. So more crossbowmen. We have no money. <laughs> but it's okay. It's about to be changed. Now we have like mini mini. Look look at the mini map, you know? We are like having almost full map control. So money is not gonna be a problem soonish. But until then, let's collect here. Let's destroy his lumber mill. So in total, we will have one, two. Uh, five, six Uruk pits. But we can even get more. So let's build one more, one more Uruk pits here. So the goal is before we make the final move in order to destroy his castle, we will have a full population. That's my goal. Full population of Berserkers. So 400 units and every single one of these. And for that reason, let's actually demolish our Lammer Mills. Uh, because we, I don't want to waste command points for that, you know? What you can do, if you don't know, is you can... I will show you guys. Hold on a second. Okay. Again, not fighting. Not fighting. Just attack the attack the thing, say it. Just attack the Citadel, because the crossbowmen, they will need ages to destroy that. What you can do, if you don't know, is... If you ever want to make the transition from a Blammer Mill into the Slaughterhouse, and you don't want to waste your command points, just like, I want that not to happen, then you build the slaughterhouse and then you can actually put your lumber mill workers inside the slaughterhouse just like that. This way you can get rid of them and you also get some money in return. You know, not much, but still. This way you get at least some value. So now what I want to do is I want to group them all together at one point. Okay? And this is going to be the point here. So let's give numbers to the Uruk pits. This way we can rotate between them a bit faster. So one, two, three. And we have four, five, six. So let's set ready points. Four, 
five, six. And this is number seven. Wait, number seven, it's hard. My hands are not that big. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Everyone beside this one is level two. So we need to get this level two first. For that reason, let's send them first of all to this base. But in the meantime, shift and E to recruit uh, more of them at the same time. Okay, we are, we are broke. We are broke, but it's fine. We will get money soonish. Let's use the vestition actually right after that. We can first of all use the Palantia to see the map and then just get more value from the devastation this way. So this one, bam. All right. So again, command points are going to be filled with... Ah, he's attacking us, but I'm, I, I don't, I'm not worried about that. Trust me on that one. Here's Saruman now. Okay, that's a different story. Saruman is, of course, a dangerous hero. Let's use industry right here. There we go. Look how many we have on the field, guys. Do you see that? Crossbow man, I told you to be at this spot. Okay, we need to get this level to first. Again, keep recruiting more, more, more. We are command points. We are we are either broke or we are broke. Eventually, you know, that's what, what it is. We can fight this if you want to take a fight. He thinks he has Saruman and he can make something happen here. Are you out of your mind? You will be outnumbered, my friends. You will be clearly outnumbered. Let's see. Saruman against the Berserkers. Who wins? Holy moly, guys. Come on now. Come on now. We need more money, though. We need more money. I don't know how we can get more money right now. Hey, hey, hey. You wanna, you wanna destroy our Urupit, but no, 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 good sir. That's not gonna be possible. So we need more. Alright, now let's group all together here. They're attacking us. We have seven Urupits in total. Look how many we have also here, guys. Hallelujah moment. Did you ever see this many Berserkers on the field? I've, I've not. I can tell you that much. And that's not even, we are not even full command points yet. Imagine. But we are always broken, broken, oh, money wise. Because again, we need to invest 1400 for one single rotation. Uh, 7 times 2, 14. So 1400. And the build speed is so extremely fast. It's like we need to invest 1400 every 2 seconds almost, you know? Like we have so many now. Holy guacamole. Look how many we have, dude. That's so fun. That's so that's so nice to watch. Let's see what he got. Let's scout. Oh, he is not ready for that, boys. He's not ready for that. Alright, more, 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 more. We cannot command any more troops. We cannot okay, we cannot recruit any more units now. Oh, we have some we have still some worker here. One worker is he's confused. He's like, I lost my job, I don't know what to do. Okay, so now we have a couple of them also here. Let's lose them real fast. Let's lose them real fast, right? I don't mind about losing that either. More, more, more. Okay. So let's let's join them. Join all. Wait one second. Let's use the torches now. Holy moly, guys. Watch this. Oh, what am I doing? Sorry, guys. I was I wanted to take a screenshot from this, you know? Because that's that's not something I see every day. All right. Now, let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Let's use War Chant. Let's see. I'm just going to right-click here. I want to just see. You know, I don't want to do anything manually. I just e-clicked to this piece. So, they're going to automatically attack everything until they reach this point right here. So now let's see. The devastation power. Yes, Saruman back on the field. He's gonna fireball. Oh my goodness. He killed not even he didn't even kill them. Because they are war chanted. Oh Saruman. <laughs> Saruman, what are you doing, bro? Saruman! No! He was so young. Actually, no, he was quite old. You know what I'm saying? He's like a Maya, of course, sent to the Middle Earth. But unlike Gandalf, he's uh, you know, he was jealous to Gandalf, guys. Did you guys know that? That Saruman was kind of jealous. Because, like, Gandalf was looking better, you know what I'm saying? Gandalf was, like, having more friends. And Saruman was having, like, birds and, like, crows, you know? 
And for Grima Warmtongue was his friend. You know, how can you be a Grima Warmtongue? Come on now. Look at the damage when they're surrounding that like that. We are losing. Look how many we lost. Do you see that? We are losing them all the time. But we have so many of them. that it still looks like that we have like not lost, you know, any of these. All right, let's recruit more units in the meantime. Dope, dope, dope. And I believe this attack is going to make it work. And sorry, my phone was ringing, guys. Not your phone. You are not that famous. Come on now. I, you know, I'm, I'm just like Gollum now. You have no friends. Nobody likes you. <laughs> and of course, I have no friends either. It was my wife. She's my only friend. Kappa Keeper. I'm, I'm just joking, guys. I'm not, I'm not like Gollum. All right. Oh my goodness, man. It's not going to be enough, right? Is it going to be enough? It's going to be close. We have only three of them left. Uh, it's going to be enough, of course. Calculate it, boys. GG, well played, hard army, but you are not that hard anymore. Victorious, just like that, with nothing else and nothing more than the mighty berserkers from the Uruk Pit level 2. And, of course, they are expensive, but the pros are you get them in no time. You know, they are hitting like a truck. They cost only 4 command points. That means you can literally get like a lot of them. For When you have 400 command points available, you can get 100 of them. You know, 100 of these berserkers. How can anybody deal with that? It's just too much. Again, the best way to do that is have, first of all, great amount of resource income. Then eventually build like 2, 3, 4 Uruk pits. I mean, you will not be able to, you know, afford 7 Uruk pits. Even we were not able to do that because even though we had like full map control, but it was still almost impossible. But it was fun. With the torches, we were running them down. Saruman got, like, obliterated in, like, two seconds. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe for more content like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out.